Good morning, everybody, and this is your DAX setups for today. And uh, I just want to get these two levels in, and then we can get on to it. So uh, first level, which was 17.911, we did pull back to it, and then we sort of accelerated off there. We are bouncing off 18.040, 18.50, 18.050. Um, that seems to be the line in the sand to the upside. Look at our oscillators. We are, you know, we're not creating new highs. We probably, we may be. Let's just check this on the three hour. I think it'll be ever so slight. Yeah, okay, so we do have a new high, but we've got diversions here. And this is bearish diversions. So if you look at this on the eight hour, there's your diversions there. We've got a crossover. We're just hovering above the 80 here. And uh, nothing really indicating a move to the downside. And I don't really want to try second guess at top because that is kind of what uh, you'd be doing. So for now, the 8 hour the trend is very strong to the upside. You should be looking to buy the dip. If you look at this on the three hour, same scenario, we are sort of going sideways in amongst all the moving averages here. So this range, it was formed um, for most of last week, a little bit worrying. So um, the shorts would only come into play below a break of 17.911. So you need to see a break and a retest of that for any shorts to come into play. And you'd probably be held up at 17.819. Now, if you look at this from the time frames we're looking to trade, there was nothing really here. I suppose bottom of range was the only opportunity that you could have taken off this pin bar. Not really clear structure here, but that was the only trade. And then obviously the previous high would have held you up. So you can see we just got above the previous high before rejecting that again. So not really a trade on Friday, not from, from my perspective anyway. You see all this confusion, and as I said in the video on Friday, really just going to be taking a long weekend, which is what we did. For now, this uh, 18040 is obviously some sort of, uh, uh, let's just say there's, there's some interest at this level. So everything is indicating to onwards and upwards, but we are so tired and we kind of rejected 18. 0881800, uh, which seems to be the level to the upside. Twice now, and now we are just going sideways. So I'm still very reluctant to be looking for longs or shorts, to be honest. And uh, you can see this massive pin bar here from Friday. That's at 18022. I'm very reluctant to be looking for longs right now. I don't think it would be the wise idea. But at the same breath, I don't think it would be a wise idea to be looking for shorts here. So the S&P has got a, a fairly decent short setup, albeit uh, a scalp. But there's definitely some there's a setup there for a short. But the DAX, I don't know. I think um, you know if you just look at this big up, big down, big up, big down, we need to get above this 18100 level and build a base there before you start saying we have uh, some structure and uh, we we'll keep going sideways and then breaking to the upside and then coming back into the range. So everything hinges about what happens here and you can see to the left there's nothing really that I'd, um, indicates that I need to be short of that. It would be below 1820. So I'd need to see a break below 1820, a rejection of it for a move to the downside. But that is against the grain or against the trend on all time frames. So the 15 minute may you know, break below here may indicate that you've got um, some structure to the downside. So you should be buying, but the problem with this is we're so tired on all the time frames that I'm very reluctant to just jump in long here, uh, just based on this rejection, previous rejection here. So I think this is a wise decision just to sit and wait um, wait and see what transpires. There's so much going on in the markets again, and uh, this to me is just 
sideways price action and you're going to get burnt just trying to jump in on this so yeah i think the dax definitely offers some a little short setup sorry not the dax but the s p offers a short setup um, and also offers a buying opportunity once you get down to lower levels so that is some seri um, some solid structure available this is sideways i'm not interested in this um, you're just going to get yourself burnt so uh, i'll leave this well alone today hope it helped you somewhat and uh, we'll catch up with you tomorrow morning cheers for now